So there we have a foldable AMOLED here, the AUO. So who are you? Hello. I'm JJ. And uh, um, how do you make this happen? This is, uh, uh, is it plastic? It's not glass? Uh, it's plastic, yes. So it can fold. Um, but More than a million times. A million times can fold like this. Yes. That means also you can have a phone that could fold like this and become a tablet. Yes. yes. How soon is this happening? Um, we expect this will happen like uh, in two years. Two years? Mass yes. production? Yes. Stable? Yes. And this kind of uh, uh, technology is going to be uh, un unbreakable? Unbreakable. Because yes. glass is always breaking in the display, right? Yes. This yes. one will not break? No. And it will be reliable, it will not scratch? Um, we still have to put some protection film on top of it. So this is just a film? Here's some information about this. Uh, so um, can you talk about AUO in general? Uh, uh, AUO is one of the, the leaders in the display business, right? Yes. Doing uh, uh, this AMOLED? Yes, yes. We, we also have the uh, smartwatch. As you can see, the uh, border is very slim. So we can provide very good um, um, the feature to our customer. So this is so they can design the watch very slim. True circle AMOLED. Yes. And here we have uh, 1.2. And let's go over there. Also, uh, let's let's check it right here. You also have some uh, uh, some uh, LTPS LCD. What's yes. what is going on here? Is no no bezel? Um, there's very slim uh, border. So uh, if this is on the phone, you won't see any um, border. So this is 5.5 inch yes, full HD, HD. super uh, narrow. But you need to connect in the bottom. Every phone like this cannot have four bezel less, right? Only three. Um, we can do the uh, so-called cough process. So the border uh, on this side only the bottom. Be, yes, still uh, can be very narrow. So in the bottom, you you put the 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 uh, microphone, the speaker, or the camera down here. So it's okay. You can you need to have a, a bezel on the board. Yeah, but maybe you can cut the uh, shape. You can leave the space uh, for the phone, uh, for the microphone. Nice. And uh, right here, you're showing uh, flex flexible plastic LCD. Yes. So how is this possible? How can you make plastic LCD? Because um, it's liquid crystal with plastic, yes, it works. Yes, um, this is the process is the same as the rigid uh, LCD, except the substrate using the plastic. And right now, the, the, the backlight is only coming from the bottom. You don't eliminate everything, or yeah, it's from the bottom. All right. Um, how soon is this coming? Um, this will be sooner, probably in one year. Just one, one to year. Two years. And yes. what's the difference between flexible OLED, flexible uh, LCD? Um, just different emissive technology. But it's going to be uh, uh, in terms of mass production, the, the stability, resistance, the quality? Um, uh, LCD will be fixed curve. It won't be able to fold. It's not fixed. It's yes. uh, co co conform. Conform. All right. Yes. So this is this might be more limited, maybe market or yes, maybe yes. because yes. it's not possible to flex in LCD. Yes. yes. This this water, there's some liquid. It yes, work. because liquid crystal. All right. And uh, here you're showing uh, AMOLED. Do, do you also have a 8K display? And what do you have stuff for automotive around here? If I'm going around here, a whole bunch of automotive. Some uh, special shapes for yes. LCDs. Yes. This is uh, also for the automotive application. You're able to cut it? Yes, yes, no and, problem. And it just works? Yes. No problem? No problem. All right. And here you have a curved LCD. Yes. Looks like this. Yeah. But this is plus, uh, This is glass, glass yeah. substrate. Yeah. And uh, here you have free form. So you can have a rear view of mirror like this. Yes. And uh, over here, okay. sorry, 120 hertz. Uh, yes. This is for gaming. Yeah, because for gaming you need a very fast response. Right. Let's, yeah. let, let's walk around here. And here you're showing a 13.3 inch 4K yeah, very high LCD. Resolution. 
and very low power. Low power? Yes. Usually more resolution is more power, right? Yes. yes. So how do you make it keep low power? Uh, basically, the LTPA has a uh, key feature is the low power and uh, very thin, very uh, with also with uh, slim bezel design. Slim bezel, 4K, 13.3, is this for a laptop? Yes. Be yes. Business? Yes. Okay. Right. And here you have another one, also 13.3. What's the difference between this and this? Actually, this one is based on this. We also use uh, LTPS technology. Okay. And uh, in this one, we, we just uh, load down the refresh rate. And achieve the as a low power consumption. 15 hertz. Yeah, it's only 15 hertz. 15 hertz. So the fresh, fresh rate is very low. So our logic power consumption is less than one. Do you have an uh, adaptive uh, refresh rate? Can you go up and down with refresh rate? Uh, yes, sure. this one can. The you refresh rate can be changeable. You have that? Yes. In this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. And here you have very, very small bezel, 4K display? Yes, only 1.5 millimeter. Is it, uh, uh, is it resistant or is it more fragile when the bezel is small? How can fragile. say? If small bezel makes oh. it more fragile? I think uh, that uh, well, uh, they will still have uh, cover on that. That will be okay for our customers. Yeah, it's for the notebook application. Notebook, yeah. Oh. And here we have uh, 15.6, also 4K. Uh, looks great. So everybody needs to have notebooks with 4K displays. Uh, it's a great way to check. Let's go. Let's go on the other side. Maybe you can come with me. And over here, uh, we have a few more displays right here. This one is worth high. It's a refresh rate. Two hundred forty. Yes, two hundred forty. It's much uh, higher than the standard. It's Whoa. for a professional gamers. I'm a professional gamer. Really? No, I'm not. But oh, I, okay. I wish. I wish. No, I, now okay. I feel like. Because I don't see any any. Oh, very like this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to shoot. All right, and no. here is uh, it's, uh, only 200 hertz. Yes, 200 hertz is uh, even <laughs> very high compared with the other models. But in this one, we use the uh, 21 by 9 cinema format, and uh, especially with the uh, curvature, it's just a 18. Uh, 18. All right. Cool. So that's awesome here. The SID uh, checking all these uh, displays. I especially like uh, this one. I think this is cool. Yeah, this is a foldable touch only. Everybody's excited about this, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, is it possible to make it foldable without so much bezel around? Small bezel yeah, foldable? Yeah, sure. Because it is just a, a model, so we need to. <laughs> Put some structure on it. Actually, last year we have a similar technology, but this year we include that with the high color gamma. You can see the high color gamma is reached to 95 percent BT 2020. You so can, better colors. Yeah, yeah. compared with the other NOLED LCD, uh, NOLED panels, uh, yeah. you can see the vivid color. It's very colorful. Usually, the NOLED the panel will become no, yellow, uh, mm. especially if you can see that kind of situation in other places. So we will not have this problem. Nice. And uh, this one is uh, touch panel. Mm -hmm.